Our nation's report card is abysmal right now. Do you think you can solve this geometry problem? You're given the area of the triangle, and you're also given that the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shortest side. So to begin, I'll record that the area is equal to 15 radical 3. In other words, half of the base times the height is equal to 15 radical 3. So as you know, the hypotenuse does not count as the base or the height of a triangle. So we'll call this side the base, and we'll call this side the height. So in our case, the length of the shortest side is going to be h. Therefore, reading the sentence that's highlighted in green, the hypotenuse is twice that. So our hypotenuse would be across from the 90 degree angle. So this is 2h. Right now, this relationship that's highlighted in green tells me that I'm dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Why? Because anytime the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shortest side on a right triangle, then you're dealing with a special right triangle. So that means that this angle here is 30, this angle here is 60. So the angle across from the shortest side would be 30, the angle across from the longer side would be 60, and then always the angle across from the hypotenuse is the 90. However, I don't really need this right now because I'm just trying to find the sides. But the reason why I'm pointing that out is because we now know that the longer side is equal to the shorter side times radical 3, because that's how a 30, 60, 90 triangle works. So I can now go down here to the situation that I've set up and fill this in. So I have one half, remember the base due to the special right triangle discovery that we've made, the base is the height times radical 3, and then the height is just going to be the height, and that's going to equal 15 radical 3. So essentially I'm taking a half of the base times the height, because that correlates to the area, and they told us the area is 15 radical 3. So now continuing with this, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply this together. I have a half. What is h radical 3 times h? That's going to be h squared radical 3, and that's going to equal 15 radical 3. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm solving for h, because the question asks me what is the length of the shortest side. So I need to find out what h is. So just keeping that in mind as I'm solving, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one half by either dividing by a half or multiplying by two, which is the same thing. So I'm going to multiply the other side by two, and that's going to cancel out the one half. So here I'm going to get 30 radical three is equal to h squared radical three. And I have radical three on both sides, so I can just cancel that out. Or in other words, I'm basically dividing both sides by radical three, which cancels it out on both sides. And so I get that h squared is equal to 30. And then I just want to square root both sides to solve for h. So I get that h is equal to radical 30. And since that's not a perfect square root, we won't be simplifying that. So we're done. If you need help with math, book a session with me online or in person at feelingalgebraic.com.